For the victims of the Pulse tragedy, to honor their lives, preserve their memory, and help us all heal. One pulse, one poem. Here, sit at my kitchen table. We need to write this together. Have a sip of cafe con leche, breathe in the steam, and our courage to face this page bare as our pain. Curl your fingers around mine, curled around my pen. Hold it like a talisman in our hands, shaking, eyes swollen. But let's not begin with tears, or the flashing lights, the sirens, nor the faint voice over the cell phone when you heard, I love you, for the last time. No, let's ease our way into this. Let our first lines praise the plenitude of morning, the sun exhaling light into the clouds. Let's imagine songbirds flocked at my window, hear them chirping a blessing in Spanish, bendición, bendición, bendición. Set the page ablaze with the anger and the hollow ache of our bones. Anger for the new hate, same as the old kind of hate, for the wrong skin color, for the accent in a voice, for the love of those we're not supposed to love. Anger for the voice of politics armed with lies, fear that holds democracy at gunpoint. But let's not end here. Turn the poem. Find details for the love of the lives lost, still alive in photos, spread them on the table. Give us their wish-filled eyes glowing over birthday cakes, their unfinished sandcastles, their training wheels, Mickey Mouse ears and tiaras. Show their blemished yearbook faces, silver teeth smiles and stiff prom poses, their tasseled caps and gowns, their first true loves, and then share their last selfies. Let's place each memory like a star, the light of their past reaching us now and always, reminding us to keep writing until we never need to write a poem like this again.